Can you please tell us why do we need sustainable food systems in the first place and what's wrong with current ones? And why is it important for financial institutions to drive significant flows of capital for more sustainable food systems? Over to you, Bob. Thank you for, inv <clears throat> Thank you for inviting me to make a few comments this morning. It's quite clear that the current agriculture food system is unsustainable. It's unsustainable from an environmental perspective, human health perspective, social perspective, and animal welfare. Agriculture is second only to the energy production and use as a contributor to greenhouse gas emissions, a major stress on the Earth's climate system. Emissions of carbon dioxide due to deforestation associated with agriculture, methane from rice production and from ruminant animals, and nitrous oxide from agricultural chemicals. It's also a major converter of land, which means it is a major contributor to the loss of biological diversity and to land degradation, both through the conversion of land and the pollution caused by agricultural chemicals. There are major animal welfare issues. Minimal, mil, millions of animals are reared and slaughtered every year, some in good condition, but many in quite poor welfare conditions. There are social issues associated with current agricultural food system, inequitable access to affordable, nutritious food. There are human health issues, zoonotic diseases, such as avian flu, and potentially a current issue, COVID-19. We have to worry about the amount of antibiotics used in animals for, uh, and we have to worry about non-communicable diseases, heart diseases, cancers, caused by the consumption of red meat, caused by highly processed foods. So clearly food is actually essential to human well-being. We all need good, nutritious and affordable food, but the way we're producing it at the moment is leading to significant adverse consequences, especially on the environment. If we want to meet the Paris target of less than two degrees Celsius, if we want to meet the post-2020 uh, Convention on Biological Diversity target, we need to transform the food agricultural system, and of course, within that, the fishing system. Therefore, we need to transform it. We need to transform the economics and financing around agriculture. We need to reduce or eliminate uh, agricultural and fish subsidies. We need to internalize externalities. The price of food is artificially low, especially meat because we have these subsidies, because we fail to internalize externalities. Of course, if we do both of those, the price of food will increase, politically unacceptable for many. However, what we need to think through is, how can we have social safety nets? How can we get the price of food right? But to make sure that food is available, especially to those that are poor. <coughs> We need to uh, change the way we produce food. As I said, we need our livestock system to drastically be transformed. The livestock system has got a huge footprint on the environment and also is a real question, especially the red meat uh, on human health, as well as, of course, the animal welfare issues. Uh, will cultured meat, novel plant-based meat, biomass and precision fermentation be a possible set of new technologies that can actually replace current uh, livestock systems? It's a real question. Uh, in fact, I'm co-chairing an assessment on that at the moment. So we need to at least think through whether alternative meats may or may not have a place. Obviously, we need to find that sustainable practices, low impact farming. Uh, we need less chemicals. We need agroforestry. We need precision 
agriculture, where water is much more used usefully. At the moment, water uses about, uh, agriculture uses about 70% of the water, often unsustainably. The irrigation systems are not sustainable. So we need precision agriculture, both for agricultural chemicals and for water. We clearly need to make our agricultural food system climate resilient. The Earth's climate is going to change, even if we try to meet the Paris targets. And therefore, we need to have crops that are temperature tolerant, drought tolerant, pest tolerant, salinity tolerant. Major, major challenges to make the system sustainable and adapt to a changing climate. We need to also look at the issue of food waste. About 30% of food is lost and wasted uh, in both developed and in developing countries for different reasons. In developing countries, much of the food that's grown doesn't make it to market. It's lost in the fields. Poor transportation, poor storage systems. In developing countries, yes, there is loss in transport and storage, but much of it is lost in our refrigerators, in our restaurants, in our supermarkets. So overall, we have a challenge. It's a challenge we can easily meet, in my opinion. We do need to transform the agricultural system and clearly reforming the economics and the financing around agriculture and food systems is absolutely critical.